Hello and welcome back to Zilonka and if you remember from last time we have two new fields up here 50 and 51 and so far we have cultivated them. Now, I don't actually think that we've analysed them. Oh we have analysed them actually. Yes we have. <laughs> I thought we hadn't done it. So the first thing to do today is to go pop into here and put them on a worker and start um, putting some nitrogen on the fields because in March we have to put potatoes in these two fields this one over here and this, that, the other one over there 50 and 51 so the other thing we have to do today is put cotton in this field and I think it's ready for cotton let's just find out by we've got cotton selected we have so we'll put this on the worker as well and this is our last cotton field I'll just show you again we want 86, um, if I can, yeah, use my cursor, 86, 87 and 89 for uh, cotton. So I'm, I'm just putting cotton in here. This one is wheat and I think I finished this off. Let's just check on the, the nitrogen and the pH. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, so, um, right, to finish this off quicker or actually finish this off quicker, I'm going to go to our casel tractor, this one and see if I can tow the great big breedal um, lime spreader over here. Can we have a slight David and Goliath battle here with this tiny little case farm hall and the massive lime spreader we have behind it? But I think it will do it because it's not really a heavy job apart from when this lime, you know, is completely full of lime. So I'll just wait for the other guy to just do a bit more I suppose. Um, and the other thing I'd like to do today is buy a truck because I've been saying this for ages and I really want to do it now to do a bit more forestry because if we look at our productions just here in our sawmill there's absolutely no wood so we need to do something about that. What I'd like to do is buy this Volvo truck um, you can make this, uh, I'm going to take everything that's been added on off. I think I'll buy it now actually. Let's just take everything that's been added off like the roof and the aero parts and just make it as cheap as possible. And I'm going to make it yellow because I like yellow and have like a, a dark grey grill. Let's have a look at that. And design a light grey. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. That's fine. And we've got 94,000 left, so we're going to need a timber runner. So if I go back into this and we go to forestry equipment, the timber runner here is 39,000. Now, um, I think we've got some costs coming up, so I'm just going to rent this. And the other thing I'm going to rent is going to be a telehandler. And I'm going to rent the New Holland telehandler because it's matching yellow. <laughs> so we'll have this and we'll have a log fork as well. And we'll just rent this. So, probably this guy, not this guy, not this guy, but this guy here. Right, let's fill him up and get him started again. Fine. And let's get into our truck. Just, no, not here, but it's, we've got too much equipment, honestly. We have. And you might remember that we have an area of forestry, which I'll just show you um, just here, 95. And I'm pretty sure we've still got a lot of um, trees left in that. So I'm going to get everything together and I'll see you when I get everything down to the field. I said before that this, this map isn't really set up for forestry, but it's okay. It's just got some slightly awkward trees like oaks and 
the beech trees, but the oaks. Let's just try and cut down an oak. Is this an oak tree over here? I think it is. Uh, yeah, a small one. So we'll cut this, cut this one down. And we can delimit as you normally do. And these limbs here, I don't really cut them off, but you can you can sort of trim them. Like that. <laughs> and and so forth so they're not too bad actually and uh, I normally need to cut them in half to get them into the timber runner um, so anyway what I'll do is I'll put this away for a sec and I just need to go back and check on people like this guy oh he's run out okay fine well I might as well fill him up and I will have to pay for everything at the end because this guy there's just too much stuff. This guy's empty as well, so I need to. I've done two fill ups of this guy and one fill up of the other guy. <laughs> anyway, that's all sorted out now, and this guy I need to take off the field. Because he's done his job, I just need to get the uh, the fertilizer and the seed out. Yeah, that's just all over the place. But uh, and I just need to send the the machine back. So this one, we've had it for 0.6 hours, and I don't think there's anything else to do. I'm pretty sure there isn't. So um, the other thing I've realised is that. These fields that we need for um, carrots and turnips need cultivating, which I'd completely forgotten about. I'm forgetting a lot of things at the moment, but that needs doing. So I'll tell you what, let's give it a bit of a rest and go and do some forestry because that's what I wanted to come over here and do. So, all right, I'll see you when the timber runner is full. So I think that's it. I think that's everything done and we have some stuff to... I missed a bit actually. <laughs> we have some stuff like stumps to sort out here. I feel like it's been a bit of a frantic morning actually. I'd like to... Uh, or frantic afternoon as it is. So I'd like to see exactly how much wood that, um, that we have uh, on the back of this lorry. I can't seem to get into it so I'm just going around everything. <laughs> So, um, probably about 10,000 litres I would have thought because there's like three or four big oak trees in here. Anyway, let's get to the sawmill and find out. So, yeah, I'm very interested to see this. Normally, we get, when you get like three or four oak trees, I think this is three oak trees, I'm not sure. It's normally about eleven or twelve thousand litres. Let's have a look. 
Oh, 9,000. Oh, okay, fine. By the way, there's a golden apple here, and it's hidden. I don't know if I've got it off screen. No, I haven't. It's behind these things here. If I can just get to it. Down here. So that helps a bit, doesn't it? So, um, I think what I'll do is leave our truck here for the moment. So I'll turn it off and let's just go and see how this all this stuff is getting on. So he's limed that field. So these two fields here have now been limed. Okay, this is everything put away for the day. And tomorrow um, we need to uh, cultivate the fields. And I've decided to ridge. I think last time I said, I might be repeating myself here, but I think last time I said I'm, I'm not going to ridge because I've, I thought it was affecting the um, position farming score. But... What I now believe is that ridging gives you a higher yield. So I'm going to ridge and hopefully that's okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, look at that. 54,000 sold products. That's another piano. I was just about to say, I've just done a video, which I haven't edited or put up yet, about ridging, an experiment whether or not ridging affects um, precision farming scores. And I don't want to tell you that, but I, I can tell you that if you ridge, you'll get a much higher yield. So I'm going to ridge. And let's just go back to our van, actually, which is going to take a while. But how much stuff have we got in here? 2,820. That's not enough. I'm, go I'm going to immediately go back over to the sawmill where we just were with the with the truck and pick up a load of planks I think what I'll do is skip ahead to March the 1st now because on March the 1st we can start putting potatoes in and we have to put our, our vegetables in on April the 1st so I can get the, the fields prepared while the potatoes are being put in if you see what I mean. Let's just see what the piano looks like at the moment. Uh, <laughs> not much, not much, just two wheels. So um, yeah, we'll leave our equipment here and I'll go back to the farm and I will go back, I, go, I will spool on to March the 1st. I'll see you then. All right, so we've got some leasing costs now, which is unfortunate. But the first thing I'm going to do today is get the the John Deere out, which I think is already attached to our cultivator. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, um, so I've got three fields to cultivate. In other words, I've got the three fields we need for veggies. So. So, I'll put him on a worker. Just make sure he's heading in the right direction. <laughs> so, and I use Massey Ferguson actually. Um, if I can just get to the door, I can. So, use Massey Ferguson for putting potatoes in. So, I think that where I think it's March. Let's just check. Yes, potatoes going in March. And while we're on this screen, actually, let's have a look at our look at all the all the soup we've got to to uh, sell. I mean, we can sell at any time, and furniture, and milk. I've forgotten about the animals. Actually, let's have a look at the animals. So um, they're one hundred percent. That's fine. They've got the, some hay. We've got quite a lot of milk. Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. So. Let's go to the shop and we need to pick up uh, one of those things for putting potatoes in the ground. And I seem to remember, um, let's just find them in here. Yes, I'm going to use this, the Grimm GL860 Compactor. And yeah, we won't raise the speed, I'll just rent it. And I seem to remember, you have to fill it up with seed. You can fill it up with seed, but you don't get your seed back afterwards because the seed is turned into potatoes or something. And I'm not quite sure how to get them out. Uh, 
And also, I've forgotten to pay for all the slurry and the lime that we used yesterday. And I've just calculated it should be £4,250. So if I go to this, add or remove money, £4,250. Euros, I mean. Should be on euros. So, OK, that's yesterday's stuff. But today, we also need a lot more of seeds. So I'll get, like, five bags of the stuff. All right, I'll fill up and I'll see you at the field. Right, I am going to put this on a worker because workers tend to do a much better job than me on these fields. So, um, yeah, I feel like we need like another sort of high-powered tractor because I need to be doing the ridging and the guys doing the cultivating. And this guy, this you know, these 300 horsepower tractors, this Massey Ferguson and the John Deere that we've got, are both 300 horsepower. And I need another, like, high horsepower tractor to do the ridging. I think I do, anyway. Anyway, let's put this guy on a worker. And, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I have to judge how much seed I put in here. Because, at the end, when he's finished, I can't get it out. <laughs> so, anyway, let's just find out how much horsepower we need for a ridger. Yeah, this one here is what we use, and uh, yeah, we own one of these, but it's 270 horsepower. And our tractors are, we have these small tractors, which are, you know, up, good horsepower, but not, not sufficient. And these two, which I'm using at the moment. Anyway, I'll tell you what I'll do is do a little bit of a time lapse. Okay, not quite finished, but I need to. I think I need to. Fin I need to uh, interrupt this guy because if he cultivates, he's going to cultivate our field. If he turns around, I'm pretty sure he's going to try and cultivate our field as well. Oh no, he's done. Well, he's missed a bit then. <laughs> okay. Um, right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the bit he's missed. Yeah, I did have an issue on our wheat field with a worker who was cultivating a next a next door field, and he accidentally cultivated cultivated some of the wheat field and destroyed some of the crop. Anyway, I think what I'll do is just turn off the John Deere for the moment, and I might just get the case saw. Where's our case saw? Right here, just to take the the John Deere sprayer and spray. Um, I'll just drive into the wall. <laughs> spray, the t spray the cotton fields because they need finishing off. And I think what I'll do is I'll put our case far more just here at the bottom of the field. And I'm not going to start him off because I'm out of time. I'm just going to put him here, ready to start next time. And I'm going to put... This guy over here ready to start next time and I think with the John Deere I will put him 
just here ready to start next time but before I finish today I would like to go and visit our cows because I haven't seen them for ages and I'm I'm just concerned about the grass field we have down there I'm just gonna run down there yeah here's our grass field ready to harvest okay we'll do this next time or something and we've got plenty of other things to do but we'll probably do this next time and we have all our equipment here and here are our cows and let's just see how they are 100 percent everything's fine okay great all right well thanks for watching today and i'll see you next time bye for now